Hey guys, it's Peyton with the Foreign Herders here, and today we are going to be doing a flea market restoration video on this stool. I bought this stool a long time ago, and it was this original, like, ginger wood color almost, and I did paint it blue, but we were running out of blue, and it's just been worn, and you can see, like, where, you know, we sit and where the feet go, it's just coming apart. And in all of the um, little leg pieces have all been pushed apart. So I'm going to start fixing the glue through there. And then I am going to be painting it. The legs are going to be black. And then the top part is going to be this like silvery copper, not silver, um, this coppery bronzy color just on the top here. And then... Let's get started. So now I have all the legs glued together. So I'm not going to be able to give them proper time to sit and dry before I can start putting it together. Or I mean, before I can start painting it. So it's just going to have to dry as I paint. So now I'm going to start with the copper paint. I have my brush and I'm just gonna get it a little bit wet over here just so that it can run smoothly. And now I got the top right here, which is where it's going to be going. Let me get it here. Because I'm using so much of this and it's gonna take a lot to cover it, I am just gonna squirt it right on the top, just to start, if you can see that. And now we will paint the chair. Now this is probably gonna take a lot of coats so I have the whole bottle if I need it. And then obviously I can always get more, but let's hope that this is enough. They don't have the big bottles of the copper like they do for the black. So I just had to get a small bottle. But the black I can always use, even if I don't use it for this, for any other projects that I ever do, because it is just black, so that's good. Now I'm going to be starting on the black for the legs while I let that first coat dry. So I've squirted some black here on this little cardboard piece. I have my paintbrush here, just get it a little wet, just so that it can move around. And then we're just going to start painting the legs. And again, this is going to take a lot of coats, but I have a lot of paint, so that's cool. So I finally finished the chair. I got the black to a solid black to where I like it. Because I was afraid to be a little splotchy, but the black looks pretty good. I like the top. I like how in the light it kind of shines a little bit. Um, there's a few parts still drying, like that'll dry up and then blend in. And it looks cool. I did end up painting the bottom black. It's a little bit splotchy, but I just couldn't get it perfect because of the weird angle. But I think it looks nice. And I am happy with my little flea market flip. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And we will see you in a future video. Bye-bye.